Hi everybody! I have a special book for our family, but I think you're gonna absolutely love it. It's a very dear book and it's called Augustus and His Smile. Um, when I found out I was gonna have a boy when I was pregnant with Augustus and we decided his name was gonna be Augustus, I immediately started trying to see if I could find a picture book with Augustus in it and I could not have found a better book. I put this in the search and I put Augustus picture books or something like that and look, this beautiful book came up and so I bought it before Augustus was born. It's by Katherine Rayner, just one name. So she was the author and illustrator in this gorgeous book, Augustus and His Smile. So inside you'll see some footprints. And here is the title page. There's Augustus the tiger. Isn't he beautiful? Augustus the tiger was sad. He had lost his smile. Aww. I wonder why he lost his smile. Have you ever lost your smile? So he did a huge tigery stretch and set off to find it. Huge tigery stretch. Love that painting. First, he crept under a cluster of bushes. He found a small, shiny beetle, but he couldn't see his smile. There's the small, shiny beetle. See him looking at it? Then he climbed to the tops of the tallest trees. He found birds that chirped and called, but he couldn't find his smile. Where do you think his smile is? Further and further Augustus searched. He scaled the crests of the highest mountains where the snow clouds swirled, making frost patterns in the freezing air. How about that for an illustration? I love how the author made the words go up and down the mountains like that. I think that makes it really special. He swam to the bottom of the deepest ocean and splished and splashed with shoals of tiny, shiny fish. Look at that. Splished and splashed with shoals of tiny, shiny fish. What sound do you hear a lot of on that page? Did you hear the SH digraph? Shh. Splished, splashed shoals of tiny, shiny fish. Really good authors sometimes do that where they'll repeat the same sound and it sounds really poetic. And I think this really does here. You can try that in one of your stories. He pranced and paraded through the largest desert, making shadow shapes in the sun. Augustus padded further and further through shifting sand. There he is adding further and further through shifting sand until, until what? Make a prediction. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter, drip, drop, plop. Look at the way the words go. 
Doesn't it look like rain? Pitter, patter, pitter, patter, drip, drop, plop. <gasps> what happened? Look at that picture. What is he doing? Augustus danced and raced as raindrops bounced and flew. He splashed through puddles bigger and deeper. He raced towards a huge silver blue puddle and saw, look at that. Look at how the words are going now. Look at that. The words are going down like really fast rain. I love that. Maybe you can make a book where things are happening and your words kind of go in those kind of patterns. Like if it's rain, maybe they're, maybe your words are going like this, or if there's wind floating with butterflies then maybe your words are kind of floating. Might as well try it, right? So anyway, he raced towards a huge silver blue puddle and saw there, under his nose, his smile. <gasps> Look at that. He sees his own reflection. And what's there? His smile. What made him find a smile? What do you think? And Augustus realized that his smile would be there whenever he was happy. He only had to swim with the fish or dance with the puddles or climb the mountains and look at the world for happiness was everywhere around him. Augustus was so pleased that he hopped and skipped and jumped away smiling. Oh, look at that. What a sweet tiger. And there are his footprints. Didn't you just love that book? That is just a special book. I mean, even if it didn't have anything to do with my own son being named Augustus, it is still such a special book. I love it. So glad I found it. And I know right now it probably seems like, oh yeah, I wish I could run and jump around the world right now to get my smile back because right now we're all kind of stuck inside, but we can go out, you know, around where we live maybe. And as long as we're kind of far away from people, we can still enjoy the blue sky. Oh my gosh, the weather is so beautiful lately. The sky is blue. I've noticed some beautiful trees. Um, I saw outside my window, one of the new trees around where I live is blooming. So I remember when we painted those pink trees. I'm seeing some blooms around. So even though we can't go far right now, let's just find some beauty in what we do see because it's still there and it will bring our smile back. And remember, I am thinking about you all the time and giving you a big hug. I miss you guys so much. Bye-bye.